My name is Dr. Josh Baker, and I'll be demonstrating to you the treatment of a posterior rib utilizing a multimodal sequence of OMT as is outlined and discussed in detail in the attached article. Uh, first, we'll f start with identifying a rib lesion. I've already identified a lesion here at a fourth rib. I'm going to monitor that rib with my hand throughout the entire procedure, and we will initially initiate this multimodal sequence utilizing a counter strain model. Thoracic, thoracic spine and cervical spine are going to be side vent and rotated away, at which point I am feeling a, a softening of the tissues and I will be holding for a full 90 seconds. I, at this point, I will not, for brevity's sake, I will not be holding for the full 90 seconds. And then I will be transitioning to the facilitated positional release sequence. I will be providing a force from my right hand to my left thumb directly on. Hold it, finding the release, holding for three to five seconds, end of the facilitated relational release treatment, and we'll be able to transitioning directly into the still technique sequence. Exaggerating the dysfunction, followed by compression, articulating anteriorly, all while monitoring this dysfunction with my thumb. This will be the end of the still technique, and I will be transitioning to the muscle energy sequence. It will I'm maintaining the elbow at the level of the dysfunction and the patient is providing a lateral force this way. Provide force, relax, again, relax, last time, relax. At this point I'm finished with the muscle energy technique and I will be transitioning to the articulatory technique. You, uh, targeting the uh, scapulothoracic joint, rechecking the lesion, and this is the end of the treatment utilizing the multimodal sequence of OMT.